Mary. Welcome back. Now our next guest is one of Ireland's best known TV personalities and it's safe to say she's been keeping herself busy during lockdown. Not only does she broadcast live from her dining room into her radio show each morning, but she's also found time to finish writing her second children's book. Talk about an overachiever. Lucy Kennedy joins us this morning. Good morning, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Good morning, friends. How are you doing? Uh, sorry to interrupt that game whenever you're playing on the PlayStation there. You look as if you're knee-deep in uh, something. Listen, you have 86 boys. You know what this is. <laughs> this is basically... Oh, I know what uh, it is. Jack's Ninja Turtle. <clears throat> yeah. Headset. So I was, like, thinking to myself this morning, I still want to look attractive. Yeah. And then I had to put on these. That's yeah. that's tricky, Lucy. We know that. No, it's completed uh, the yeah. book. Our, our floor manager, Darren, suggested you might give us an insurance quote. <laughs> 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 well, sir, let me help you. <laughs> Listen, it is lovely to see you, to put, despite you. the uh, opening 45 seconds of, of slagging. <laughs> of abuse. How are you doing? How are the kids? How's, how's life in lockdown? I'm good, thank you. Life is good, but look, like all of us, it's, it's, uh, it's a juggle, isn't it? And it's, it's hard. I'm literally doing, like, I'll show you. Hopefully we don't lose the connection, but this is Radio Nova there oh, in my oh dining God. room. So in the mornings, I literally pretty much come down half-dressed and go to work. So it's like I kind of can't get away from it. And then I'm, you know, explaining the weather or something and doing a, a link. And then Jess comes in to tell me that she's pooed. Holly's crying because she's <laughs> fighting with Jack. And it's all like, ha, 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 ha. I spend my life just pressing mute. But you know what, the, Lucy? Uh, people the... and viewers and your listeners know that you keep it real. And, I mean, they must really appreciate oh, that oh, level oh. of honesty. They love it. They love it. And they love the fact as well that obviously I let my children down. So I acknowledge it when these things happen. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, we're all in the same boat, aren't we? We're all just trying to make life as normal and fun as possible in these surreal times. We are looking at Jessica, by the way, on the radio, probably doing a better job than you do with her headphones on as part of the <laughs> breakfast show. <laughs> I tell you what, it's just gig. as well you're a pal, She's isn't making it, it pretty... Yeah, she's, I tell you what, the, se the second I go to the loo, I get one loo break at like basically 10 past nine. I sprint and then turn on the kettle, have it down to a tea. I come back and there's old Jessica <laughs> chatting away to the lads. She wants my gig. Stealing your life. Well, listen, apart, yeah, yeah, from, yeah, apart yeah. from doing the, the, the daily routine of the radio show and a bit of homeschooling yeah. and thrown in and looking after the house and the kids, etc., you found time Cleaning, somehow to get the box. second book written and done. Guys, I did. So basically, this is my, my second book, Friendship Fairies. So Gill Books, in fairness to them, they're brilliant. They kind of hold my hand throughout. But they said, look, you know, take a couple of weeks to write it. And then, like everyone, I was pretty much sitting at home, March the 13th, thinking, oh, my God, I've got so much time on my hands. So I wrote it. My little cuticles were actually bleeding. I was typing frantically and got the book done pretty much in four weeks. Wow. And I'm really proud of it. I'll send you both a copy for your babies, but it doesn't come out till uh, September. Do you know what, Lucy? The first one is absolutely gorgeous. And, uh, you know, you might think friendship fairies, it might be a little bit girly, but three boys at home. Yeah. And there were gorgeous lessons in it, and there's really fun moments as well. Yeah, I think so, yeah. I think it's, there's a little bit in that for everyone. And, of course, with the second book, all the fairies are a year older. So Emmy, who's the elves... Actually, Simon, you have to say hello to Emmy, my niece. She loves you. Say hi, Emmy. Emmy, good morning, darling. You've got great taste. How are you, love? <laughs> I, I didn't agree with her. I said Anna's much nicer. <laughs> Thank but you, Lucy. There, there's Emmy then... You're welcome. Emmy then goes to big school, and then Holly's changing school. So it's all about just adjusting to, you know... And, and it's, it's, I mean, it's like real life. Adjusting to making friends and leaving what you know and what's familiar. And maybe there's some nasty people or, you know... So it's kind of, it's a little bit more serious and then it's a little bit more crazy because obviously I wrote it in lockdown at my craziest moments. But people say, you know, you'll always hear authors talking about write about what you know. So you're obviously, you're yeah. sitting there in front of the keyboard thinking, are you, are you pulling from stuff that's happened to the kids, conversations you've had with your own kids and stories? Yeah, pretty much, yeah. And like I live in a fairy zone, I have daughters. So anyone with daughters knows. I, mean, I talk to fairies all day, every day. I kiss uh, Holly's 18 baby dolls before they go to sleep. So I'm very much part of that world. But um, even just, you know, small little things, like I suppose watching Holly and Jess talk. You know, they children talk to their dolls and their teddies and their little miniature characters. So I suppose, yeah. yes, I'm getting a lot of it from them. Not That's that the they're going to read my book. That's the way Anna talks to me, Lucy. <laughs> 
I didn't, I didn't really want to say, but it's very, very similar. It's very similar. It's, Lucy, it's when is the it's second married. book going to be out on our shelves? <clears throat> going to be out on our shelves in September. Brilliant. I might come in and read you guys. I oh, might that read would to be you. nice. So, if you like. And come here, how's, how's Rich yeah. getting on? How's his lockdown going? Rich is great. We're still happily married. It's a miracle. <laughs> um, so I'm downstairs, you know, doing on Nova, doing the Brecky show. And Rich is upstairs, you know, having these really serious Zoom meetings, fully dressed in like a suit, <laughs> looking smart and professional. And, and you're I'm downstairs but... interviewing investors like you. Huh? Can, can we talk about living with Lucy, Lucy? Uh, what's happening with that? And how can, is Anna, the Anna. lockdown and all of that stuff going to affect filming? It will obviously continue, but maybe in a different way? Yeah, I don't know what we're going to do there. So we were obviously all guns blazing for uh, filming Living With Lucy in April. And uh, we had our six more or less <clears throat> lined up. And then this happened. So, yes, it is going to happen, most definitely, and, uh, and hopefully in time for the autumn schedule. But it's just a case with these new rules and regulations, it's going to be a tricky one to film, obviously, yeah. because, mm. look, it's handy if I don't like the celebrity, but usually I over. am quite kind of handsy with the celebrities. And listen, you know, when, when, and we I, see, you know, when we see the, the next list of who you're going to be sharing their homes with, are we going to go, oh, my God, I can't believe she's going there with him or with her? Yeah, I think you really? will. But I'm hoping that the two meters will become one meter because it's hard to live with someone if it's like, morning, and they're in a yeah. different room. Yeah, you so kind of need to, kind of to be in a, a space with them, don't you? We're looking at, at footage, Lucy, of Gemma Collins and yourself yeah. doing some kind of uh, karaoke oh, yeah, night. Um, who are your favourite people? Like, she has to be right up there in terms of just that character. Yeah, I have to say Simon, don't I, because he's listening. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I never forget uh, those two well, days, Lucy. They're two days of my life I'll uh, never get back. You're welcome. You're welcome. <laughs> um, I suppose with the Irish celebs, are it's easier because you have that natural kind of connection. You know, that way you, you have more to chat about, the same sense of humour, and we all generally like a few of our scoops. But I loved, uh, I lo I loved Christy Dignam. That was great crack. <clears throat> I loved Brenda Grace, of course. God rest his soul. Mm -hmm. Um, Simon, Dahi, you know, like the, it's it's the obvious ones that everybody loves that, that I loved. Gemma Collins, she was go crack. She was high maintenance. And I did have to kind of say to her, look, it's just hair a few times when she got a bit stroppy about her hairstyles. But uh, I do have she to be honest, one of, the, one of the weirdest moments of my career, and I've had some very weird moments mm. in my career, was, stand, was standing yeah. in the sitting room in my house with a full film crew while me and you sat in our yeah. pyjamas eating banoffee. Eating banoffee pie. Yeah, there are worse ways to spend an afternoon. <laughs> oh Lord God! I think my bra. I think my bra is still in your uh, under your spare bed. Oh wow! Look, that's yeah. between All you right. guys. Well, look, okay? that's, for, that's, for, that's for the DVD extras, Lucy. Refer to my notes. Do now not you have say you have involved bra. the kids in your most recent project as well, Lucy. Tell us about that. Yes, so I launched uh, Danone's new yogurt range, which is delicious and no added sugar. And uh, yes, I involved the babies. So we did a photo shoot in our back garden. And again, social distancing, it was quite funny. But it was great crack until Holly attacked me with the yogurt and told me I was no longer her best friend. Oh, no. So oh, it all kind dear. of went a little bit. Yeah. But it was kind of nice to bring them in. And then Holly is, because she does Little Holly Talks on Nova as well. Yeah. So she's always doing this to me. <laughs> Show me the money. So I had to get her. Yeah, show me the money. So I had to get her another baby doll for her work with uh, Danone. So it's been pretty busy, but good. I can't complain. Well, I will complain, but I shouldn't complain. No, well, but for so many people who aren't working at the moment, Lucy, you are keeping busy between yeah. Nova and writing the book and various other gigs. So yes. well done you. Yes. Long may it last, guys, you know, because I'm freelance. So I kind of take the work when I get it. And, uh, but I, I, there's nothing happening now for the next couple of weeks. So I'm just going to breathe, eat and sunbathe. Good on you, girl. Well, listen, tell Rich and the kids we send our love and hopefully we'll see you soon. Fun. And uh, take care, Darren. Thanks for joining you guys. us. Thank you, Lucy. <laughs> Bye, Louis. Bye, bless. You can only oh, give true pals that level of abuse, can't you? <laughs> Absolutely. She got I hope one. viewers know that. The opening first two minutes was just slagging her. Yeah, well, you know, she gives the same back. <laughs> exactly.